using my calculator. Two, one, two, two, zero, nine, three, zero, fifty. I less allowable expense here, which is fifty percent times <coughs> the gross rental income for the two. One two two zero nine three uh, zero five zero. So which gives me a half of this, of course, which is twenty one uh, twenty one millions zero six one zero four. Zero four six five three zero. So then I raise it. I get. I raise it. Then I get the taxable income of of the same amount of the same amount because it is a half of bit. So then <coughs> I calculate the tax base. The tax base here is from zero to one eighty. It is zero percent, which gives me zero from one eighty one to one million. It is twenty percent, which gives me. One sixty four thousand. So that uh, twenty one million, it is greater than uh, one million. So we need to less one million first of all. One million. So then we apply it to thirty percent. That will give you. That will give you six millions, six millions, six millions, three one seven, three one seven, uh, three one uh, seven, eight, eight six four zero zero zero. So, which will give me the total. Uh, it will give me, sorry, it will give me uh, six is yes, six billions, six billions three one eight, three one eight, uh, three one seven is three one seven, eight six four. So which in total will give me? The six billion three one eight three one eight one seven seven nine five nine. So this is the tax the tax liability for the first case. The number B, the B of this question, it is gross rent income. The gross rental income we already have it, uh, which is forty-two uh, one two two zero nine three zero fifty. I raise arrivable arrivable expense, which is arrivable expense allowable expense, which is fifty percent of gross. Uh, the fifty percent of the gross we already have it as well. Twenty one zero six one twenty one zero six one zero four six uh, five three zero. So and then we less we less the interest we less interest the interest we have uh, two hundred. 
So um, then we have to less them. So therefore, we are going to get the tax, the taxable amount. So let me calculate the taxable amount. The taxable amount is 20 million. So therefore, we need to know the tax base. The tax base, we are also uh, computing the tax band, which is from 0 to 180. This gives you 0 percent, which gives me 0. Um, from 180 to 1 to 1 million, it is 20 uh, percent, uh, which gives me 164,000. Uh, 164,000. So 164,000. And we need to look at this taxable amount is greater than 1 million. So we need to less 1 million first of all. And uh, we compute it to 30 percent. This is 20 million. 8250766. This is these are 20 million. So you apply 30 percent to it. So 30 percent of it. 30 percent uh, of it uh, is six millions. Six two four. Six two four. Seven. Five three seven five three you can calculate it seven five three uh, six seven six seven uh, six seven uh, six seven five nine so then we add it we get the taxable the taxable uh, the tax liability so you have you need to add zero plus one sixty four thousand plus six million uh, six billions so this gives me six billions we get the the final answer is six billions two hundred and forty seven millions so this is the end of the question that I have sent you among the revision questions you have had so this marks the end of uh, the centralized tax structure, uh, which was chapter two. So uh, uh, which was chapter two. So uh, after this decentralized tax structure, we are going to look at uh, the chapter three, uh, which is personal income tax. So thank you so much. Uh, this is the end of our second. Uh, uh, thank you so much. This is the end of our second uh, presentation that marked uh, the chapter 2 uh, in terms of decentralized tax structure. So thank you so much.